Brzezinski, but we already saw the Brzezinski Geithner crew already manipulating the bushes, as you said, with the 888 probe. Uh, well, yes, uh, and and but the the question now is the 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 hit list has changed, and and these other countries are now at at the top of the list. So I would say now it's time to be double vigilant. In particular, these the question of the drills and the exercises. What I tried to show in nine eleven synthetic terror was that this is done through about twenty five plus drills, either happening on the morning of nine eleven or just completed or in the advanced stages of of, of completion. And uh, that is how it is done. I mean, people who have seen this, this uh, the latest Tom Cruise movie, when von Stauffenberg wanted to eliminate Hitler and have a coup d'etat, how did he do it? He took a pre-existing drill operation or program, which was called Operation Valkyrie, which was it, it supposedly how to, how to reassert Hitler's control over the German territory and other areas, and he redirected it. And uh, and try to use that as a means of kicking out the pro Hitler faction. Now that didn't yeah, work, let's but explain it just shows this is how you do it. How they bootleg with drills, and we have NLE09 going, and other Defense Department drills openly training for martial law. I mean, on record with 14 foreign nations saying the foreign nations will aid suppressing American terrorists. Just unbelievable outrage against our sovereignty. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The illusion created by the power elite is a lie that covers even the food they want you to eat. Will you continue to be their profit center, buying their processed food that makes you sick? Go to the doctor and buy their drugs? You don't have to cooperate. There is a solution. Inner Health Botanicals, a company that my wife and I just love, have been providing products for the last five years that give you the perfect solution to this madness. Try their inner food with 20 organic ingredients full of dense nutrition that gives you the energy you need and will keep you well. It even won the award for best superfood of 2009 from our friend Mike Adams, the health ranger. I love their Nutri Cafe, great organic coffee infused with herbal extracts to boost your immune system. Try all of their truly honest products that will keep you alive and healthy. Go to enerfood.com or give them a call right now, 866-762-9238. Click on their banner at infowars.com to see all the available discounts. Hello friends, this is Alex Jones and I want each of you to ask yourself this question. Do you really know what's in your tap water? In a recent study conducted by a major environmental auditor, they found that over 260 chemicals and pollutants are present in municipal drinking water. Many of these chemicals are directly linked to cancer, reproductive, immune, and developmental system diseases. Now what are you going to do about it? The Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator is a low-cost way to take back control of you and your family's drinking water. The Ecola Blue 28 produces up to 7 gallons of water from the humidity in the atmosphere and uses state of the art carbon filtration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet light sterilization techniques. That's right, clean water right from the air you breathe. Order today by calling 1 800 691 6043. That's 1 800 691 6043. Or visit Ecola Blue on the web at www.ecolublue.com today. That's ecolablue.com. Being a part of Life Change Tea has been an exhilarating experience. I love the testimonies. Julie in New York writes, I love this product. I feel great. It worked immediately. You can feel the cleansing right away. Other products don't work right away like this one does. Mrs. Luella from Missouri writes, My daughter has lost 27 pounds. She loves the tea. And David from Tennessee writes, My wife has a lot of digestive problems and the tea really helps her a lot. I like it too. And here's my favorite from C. CJ in Minnesota. He writes, This stuff really works. No, I, I mean it really works. No, I mean it really works. Be one of the many testimonies that we receive every month. Order today online at getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Or you can call us at 928-308-0408. You know the number, 928-308-0408. Be our next testimony. You love us, and we love you. All right, Webster, I was interrupting there uh, 
with the break, but I want to go over this because we already saw the Bush people, and you were saying that was being manipulated already by the Rockefeller arm that was back in full control even before Bush left office with the 888 insanity sneak attacking a Russian controlled area on record and then hoaxing it and saying the Russians had attacked. I mean, just insanity. I'm a political atheist, folks. We're just reporting the facts here. And of course, that later came out, but the hoax worked for a week. Some of the listeners thought that I was lying and that Russia had snuck attack. I mean, this is getting insane. So what else do you see Obama doing? I don't just see wars. I mean, could they... Um, I see them, Tarpley, scripting for right-wing militias, gun owners, anti-Obamas. I see the programming by the ADL, Southern Poverty Law Center, to stage something that, that the government's going to stage something. I see the pre-scripting before it was bin Laden pre-scripting before 9-11, and I saw that. I see pre-scripting for them to go the domestic terror route with white al-Qaeda. Do you see that in the cards? That, that helps the, uh, the dictatorial agenda domestically, uh, and it gets you back to McVeigh and, and the, the, the whole universe of, of the 1990s. That indeed, in the 1990s under, under Clinton, that was the main form, for example, of, of British intelligence in the United States were up to their necks in uh, white supremacists and, and, uh, and all kinds of militias. So was German and, and intel. Like it came out German intelligence on loan to the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center was running the groups. The BND, yes, right. So, but here's the problem with that, is that that doesn't advance your, your international agenda uh, as much as you want. As a matter of fact, it hurts it. Because if you have... If Obama is no longer the smiling peace angel bringing singing tomorrows to the United States, but rather some kind of a stern uh, dictator who's you know shooting at uh, at crowds or something, then then you get into uh, a, a, a diminishing returns. And remember, the main thrust of this has got to be uh, when it comes to false flag is that you want to be able to blame it on somebody. You want to somehow create, for example, a conflict among other nations. In other words, it's not, not necessarily the U.S. That goes on the attack. Uh, the neocon response to every crisis is bomb them. With Obama and Brzezinski, the idea Proxies. is you're too weak. You're too weak to do that. You're too isolated. You're too hated. You're too bankrupt. Your military is overstretched at the breaking point. Therefore, what you're, you're looking at is questions like, you know, the playing of Ethiopia against Somalia was a small example. Uh, the playing of enemy states one against the other. Just in another uh, recent case, in Urumqi, right, in northwest China, we had this murder spree <clears throat> by the inhabitants of Chinese Turkestan, who are basically Turks. Uh, this led then to the killing of a whole bunch of Chinese. This was run here by, uh, according to the Chinese government, and I think they're right, Rabia Kadir, K-A-D-E-E-R, coming out of Fairfax, Virginia, working you know, with, with money from various U.S. government agencies, had been, uh, you know, fomenting this stuff, according to the, to the Chinese government. Now, the fact that the Chinese have cracked down in northwest China has led to a crisis in diplomatic relations between China on the one hand and Turkey, Pakistan, and Iran on the other. It's causing trouble for the Chinese, not only domestically, but also in, in their international And that's affairs. exactly what Brzezinski says in the Grand that's, Chessboard in his last the, book. But, but, but expanding on that... Uh, Every time they use the Muslim extremist against the Serbs, they use the Muslim extremist against uh, Mohammed Mosaddegh in Iran. They're using the Muslim extremist in Iran, the Shiites against the uh, the Sunni against the Shiites. They're using the Muslim extremist in the United States as the pretext to take our liberties. They're using the Muslim extremist uh, with the president of Pakistan saying, "What do you mean I'm behind the Taliban? They work for you, menacing us." I mean, when is the public going to figure out that? Uh, it's like those TV infomercials for the magic tool that does a hundred things. Is Wahhabist, especially Wahhabist Muslim variant, are they not the Swiss Army knife Leatherman tool of the New World Order? Because in every case, they are the ones. And is that because they're so cultic that the low-level people don't even know they're being handled by higher-level Muslims that are just Western intelligence operatives being highly paid. I mean, I mean, is this the organic, cultural, perfect Manchurian candidate? Is the Muslim extremist? Because they're always the people, wherever the New World Order is, their vanguard is screaming turbid heads. 